Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how, about God of War Ragnarok, and should it get a sequel. Now I asked you guys, like, if you guys sub to my channel, you guys would know, <coughs> sorry, you guys would know, I've been streaming God of War Ragnarok, and I've been, like, I've been streaming, like, I have, like, about seven streams, give or take, of, um, me uh, playing Ragnarok at this very moment by the time I am recording this. Now, by the time I am, um, by the time I have released this video, it could easily be eight or nine. But at the moment, because I'm uh, recording this on January 15th, I only have seven, um, um, live streams where I've been playing God of War, which I have every intention of being. And if you guys are gamers and uh, are looking for a recommendation on games to play, I definitely recommend playing Ragnarok because based on what I played, it's so good. Or watch the other people's streams, either my streams that I may have done so far, or like other people's streams. God of War Ragnarok. Is a really fun game and I is high on my recommend recommendation list. That said, let's get this reach, shall we? I just finished um and I, I know very well that this will contain spoilers like people like me who has not completed the game. And I'm perfectly okay with that because knowing me, I probably will forget these spoilers. So, I also want to give a spoiler warning. If you guys have not played the game or beat the game, this will contain potential spoilers. So, back out now until you guys beat the game. With that said, let's get this read. I just finished playing God of War Ragnarok after receiving it as a Christmas present. Funny enough, I got it as a Christmas present too when I got my PlayStation 5. Anyways. Well, finish the story. I still have tons of side quests and extra materials to tackle. I like it very much... As I do all the games in the series. In the series. They're among the most fun video games I've ever played. And I've transitioned into this new stage of Cradle Story. From Greek mythology to Norse mythology. And from a ruthless warrior obsessed with vengeance to a father trying to become a better man. Works surprisingly well. But what's next? After game, another game in is next, of course. Considering how popular the cast generating Ragnarok is but should there be another game or should God of War Ragnarok be the last word on Kratos journey now as far as I know cuz I got to the part where um Freya comes into the picture and she just forgave her brother by the time I'm recording this um so, like, I've seen where, um, Kratos' son sees the, the Ragnarok prophecy, where, um, um, where, uh, I don't know, like, the screen went black, so I'll repeat it just in case the audio went weird. I got to the point in the game where Freya just, like, talked to her brother, and she has to leave again, and... I don't know if it's, um, and I know in the game, Atreus sees this prophecy of him going to Olympus for, um, Odin, pretty much, or the guy, whatever Odin is, um, ask her to, uh, talk to, uh, um, Odin, because, um, and that's partially because, um, in this prophecy, Kratos Dead and Atreus, who's also known as Loki, is in need of the mentor. From what I'm gathering, so I don't know if Kratos does that or not, but it, it does seem from what I've seen in the game so far that Ragnarok is Kratos's last adventure. And then if we get us another game in the series, it, we will get it based off of Atreus. Not exactly Kratos, but like I said, I haven't played the game, so I don't know if that prophecy came, comes true or not. Um, so anyways, 
And I tend to think it should be. God of War Ragnarok feels like a at the end. Like anything that comes after it would be a disappointing continuation of its themes and a refutra- refutation of them. Unless they do something drastic to explain what I mean, I'll have to spoil the uh, ending of the game. So don't read any further if you have finished it. So this is definitely where you um don't want it to go into if you don't want any spoilers, even though I kind of already spoiled some of the game. But still, don't go in, don't go further past this point if you guys don't want any spoilers. And don't yell at me too if I didn't give you a spoiler warning, because I did twice at this point. Anyways, Ragnarok is second half, and this is the second half of Kratos' journey through the Norse pantheon with his son, Atreus, with his side. At the end of the previous game, they learned that Atreus is actually Loki and is destined to be an important figure in Ragnarok, the Norse god apocalypse. Throughout the new game, Atreus wrestles with his destiny, just as Kratos wrestles with his inclination of bloodly vengeance when he wants to lead his son towards the light. The final, the finale finds Kratos, Atreus, and their a- allies triggering Ragnarok by deciding not to give in to revenge, choosing life over death. Kratos refuses to kill Thor in their big rematch, and once they are beat, they've beaten Odin, Kratos, Atreus, and Freya decided not to finish him off. Through Sindri, the dwarf is less forgiving. Though Sindri, the dwarf is less forgiving, sorry. This feels like a culmination, the end part of Kratos' evolution. In God of War 3, when he finally beat Zeus, Kratos wailed to on him, pounding his fist into Zeus' face, Zeus's face, until the screen went awash with blood and the player got tired of hitting, hitting the X button. It was the great commentary of the insensible nature of vengeance while still being a satisfying beatdown of the evil villain. When he is in the same situation with Odin, in God of War Ragnarok, Kratos takes the opposite approach, for going the satisfaction of revenge and having the mercy influence his son and friend. Kratos has changed, the vessel of unholy fury transforming into a wise and loving father who would rather leave something good in the world than simply take away something evil. But where do you go from there? Kratos is done evolving. He can't change anymore. Another game will just will, will just mean more of the same and frankly that doesn't sound like most fun. And as much as I like God of War Ragnarok, I miss the over the top violence and unrepentant death dealing from the first three games. It was satisfying to have long endurance boss battles and see it end with Kratos brutally murdering the god of, or monsters who just gave you all that trouble, and they were to great lengths to assure us that these were cruel gods that killed people like it was nothing. So they disturbed whatever Kratos did to them. Having Kratos refers that trend works in God of War Ragnarok become because the story is told so well and only is the last act in his saga. What would another God of War game look like after this? Kratos fights the Egyptian pantheon, but instead of inviscerating Ambeus with his own jawbone, he teaches him the value of friendship. They can sustain the series that way. It will feel too much like it's lost its edge, lost what made it so much fun in the first place. It's fair to argue that it's already has, and where the story is not as strong as it is. I think a lot of people would feel that way. Kratos cannot really evolve any more than he has at the end of God of War Ragnarok, and more than a piece Nick Kratos would be unsatisfying. But we all know God of War Ragnarok will not be the end. These games are way too popular for them to end anytime soon, so they have to continue the story while keeping Kratos' story fun. One was to devolve Kratos. This is risky, 
So much care went into his development into the wiser, calmer, more responsible man he is now. Something big would have to happen, and the only thing I can think of is killing off Atreus. Which would be somewhat predictable for me. Because I thought... Um, again, because I haven't beat the game yet. I thought they were going to kill off Atreus, like... Two out three sixty on us, but now that I know that he's a fives, it'll be like a bit too predictable for them to kill off Atreus in the next game. But if they wanted to like have Kratos refer back to the um the guy that he was in the previous games before like the uh, PS4 game being this game it was my first God of War game, then killing Atreus could be the best answer. But I don't know. But in this game, in uh, Ragnarok, I discovered that um, Kratos had another child that died, and I like like I said, this game is my first God of War game. Uh, Ragnarok is my second. So I don't know how, like, even though it was told in Ragnarok how his child died, would it, wouldn't it feel to a certain level, 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 um, repetitive if they killed off Kratos' child? Or would it be like, okay, now that your second child is dead, you're, you're on this revenge path, but kind of like why it seems like the end of Ragnarok, you're going to find... Okay. I did revenge with my first child's death. This child's death... I want to honor him. And... I want to be different. And the only way to honor his memory is not go through with this vengeance. So have mercy. And then knock the person out who killed um, Atreus. I can kind of see that... Being like a... Cool, deep evolution for Kratos, but at the same time being an epic evolution. Because then that would, like, show us, like, Kratos struggling between, like, his, like, wiser self and his old self, and he, in the end, he chooses his to be better. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. Kratos' son drove him to become a better man. His wife did, too, but she's gone, and his responsibilities to A Atreus is the key that got him to change. If Atreus dies, would... The last of Kratos' humanity go with him. Would he once again become the killer of gods, hunting down every last deity who had a hand in the boy's death and making them pay as painfully as he possibly could? I think that's the best bet if they want to go in that direction. I mean, in a way, I kind of explained that possibility with, uh... Kratos going down a revenge spree, but towards the end, wanting to be, like, be better in memory of Atreus, and he essentially, like, says, okay, I'm gonna end this revenge thing, I need to walk away, be the person that Atreus would have wanted me to be, the person that I was trying to be a role model for him to be. That could be a poor getting. I don't know. Another option, and I don't like this, but after God of War Rock and Rock is on the table, is centering the next game around Atreus instead of Kratos. In several sections of Rock and Rock, you play as Atreus, and he's got a totally different feel than he than his father does. Atreus is lithier and quicker, you use using his sleek bow and arrow instead of Kratos' heavy axe and brutal blades. A game with Atreus as a sole playable character would be much different in terms of gameplay and his levels in Ragnarok could serve as a way to ease players into that. He also got his own story ready to go. God of War Ragnarok ends with Atreus and Ag Ag Arg Ag A N G R B O D O A. I'm sorry if I I can't pronounce that word for some reason. Heading off to collect the souls of the older giants, and while as the 
as well as to learn more about his role as Loki, which is something this game and this predecessor touched on in a bit, in some really clever ways, but didn't fully explore. Like I said, I only played two um, God of War games. This one was at beat, which you guys can go back on my channel in the playlist and see me actually streaming this. And currently, Ragnarok. I would be up to have an Atreus game. I, w I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I personally don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, like I said, I only play like two um, God of War games, so I don't know how like more hardcore fans will feel about that. So, I'm really interested in seeing like the God of War veteran players take on this, to be honest. So, and as a third option, it says or they could combine both approaches. They could follow up with the God of War Ragnarok with the Atreus game, and at the end of which Atreus is corrupted. Coming Logi, the trickster god who wants chaos, destruction, and power. Then, the next game would force Kratos to battle his son, who had become the very thing Kratos hates most, a finally manipulative, indifferent god. That game could follow Kratos' struggle with how to deal with his son, his desperation to bring him back to the light, ultimately leading to his acceptance that he has to kill him. Or does he? With the proper writing, it could go in either direction and be a great game slash story. That is an interesting thing. Because if they go with that story arc, then um, what they could do is kind of do what like the Force Unleashed games did and have like two endings, right? You picking two endings. One ending is to kill Atreus. The other is to spare him. And if you spare him, it will mean the potential potential death of Kratos. If you kill Atreus, who knows? I, I haven't thought of that far yet, but still, you could have like let the player choose between two um, endings: the light being sparing his son, or the dark, or or the dark. And which is killing his son. If that makes sense. So I'll be up for that too. That is a compelling story for the next game. Or next two games if they want to. If Kratos does have to kill him. That would sufficiently return him to his old self. If. I don't know. Because. If Kratos kills Atreus. That could also in a way. Be Kratos's version of um, Mercy in that scenario guess maybe Kratos doesn't want the reputation of his son to get any more stained than it was before so maybe Kratos killing Atreus when Atreus becomes Loki may be an act of love an act of um Mercy. Which, I don't know if it will, like, exactly return, in this scenario, return Kratos back to his old self, per se. Depending on the route they go. D it depends on the route they go, to, for sure. But, if he isn't allowed to show his son mercy, he's never so, he would never show any to someone else, especially a god. God of War Returns is inevitable, but until it does, fans are bound to speculate about what will happen. Whether the gameplay and story will evolve once again, and what kind of Kratos we'll see. So you guys kind of already know what I'm up for. Like, I still need to beat God of War, which I have every intention to. Um, there are like a few ways that they can... Um, Continue the story based of what I've read in here. And the person who wrote this article kind of gave a few. Um, that could be a compelling story. That 
could also add on to um Kratos's um story arc, character development, I should say. Um and I think they could potentially pull it off where it honors all the characters and the God of like story of God of War and the lore of God of War beautifully. Based on what I've seen, what I've read. Um, again, I need to like go back and watch the cutscenes at the very least, or other people's playing the games before this one, because I'm very interested. Um, since now at this point I played two God of War games, even though at the time of this recording I'm still in the process of beating one of them, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like torn because. Yeah, on one hand, they risk losing the magic of what makes God of War special. But on the other hand, if they do their story, like, if they do it right, especially, like, with this, like, maybe doing, like, um, one of these three suggestions that this article said, especially the last one, could help still further along... Kratos' story, if that makes sense, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to shut the hell up, and I'll catch you beautiful people later. Later, taters.